Right then guys, last one of the day because we're losing a bit of light now and the buildings are full. Uh, Range Rover Evoque, not our usual sort of thing, granted, but uh, entered by one of our classic car guys. I uh, went for a little spin in the car last night when it arrived and I can confirm it drives really well. It drives very, very well. No warning lights on the dash. Everything works as you would expect it to do work. Um, I know it's done a big miles, but it's obviously been well maintained and it's done it obviously quite quickly. And I think if they do it quickly, over a relatively short space of time, there's no more harm done, I think, than doing short journeys around town. I genuinely don't. As we all know, it's the startup. When the engines are cold, where all the wear takes place. So basically, to a great extent, if you don't turn it off, you don't get any wear. So it's obviously been started, and it's off, isn't it? And it's done some, uh, obviously, motorway miles, clearly. You can't do these sort of miles on the country lane and have it looking like this. So, um, so there you are. So, a very sensibly priced Evoque. I'd go as far as to say probably one of the cheapest on the market. I haven't studied the market at the moment, but you don't see many sub £10,000 Evokes, as far as I'm aware. Good spec as well. Black on black. Nice bucket seats, nice wheels. I think it looks the business. Look at that, they look nice. I'll take a few more photographs for you. Uh, but we've got just over a week to our next sale, so there's a lot of opportunity there for you to come down and have a look. But like I say, I drove it last night, I went to Thornton Dale and back, everything worked. Everything I could see that was working, heater was working, radio was on, all the display was working, everything was working. Most importantly, no bad noises. No pulling left, no pulling right, no warning lights on the dash. Yeah, what more can you ask for, really? <laughs>